Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of integration. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the value of the integral which has the limits from 0 to 1. And the expression which is given to us, it says root x dx divided by Three expressions are given to us in the denominator that are given to us as 1 plus x, 1 plus 3x, and 3 plus x. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the value of this integral. And if I talk about the answer choices which are given to us, they are pi over 8, 1 minus root 3 over 2. The second answer choice, it's pi over 4. 1 minus root 3 over 6. Third answer choice, it's given to us as pi over 8, 1 minus root 3 over 6. And the last answer choice given to us, it says pi over 4, 1 minus root 3 over 2. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Let's figure out how to solve this question further. So I it's equal to 0 to 1 limits and root x dx divided by we have 1 plus x, we have 1 plus 3x and 3 plus x. So once I have this expression with me, if I try to simplify this further, I can just put or substitute basically some things here. So if I substitute, let's like say, if I substitute x as t squared, so if I'm substituting this, if I take the derivative of this, I get dx is 2t dt. So instead of dx, I'm putting 2t dt. So if I see x, if it is t squared, root x in this case becomes t. So from here, you get this as t and dx is 2t dt divided by 1 plus x, which is 1 plus t squared, 1 plus 3t squared, and 3 plus t squared. So we have these entire expressions with us. Now, once I have this with me, I can just use the idea further to solve the question. That gives me 0 to 1 as my limits. 2 t squared dt in the denominator. Denominator basically has 3 t squared plus 1. Then we have t squared plus 1. And we also have 3 plus t squared dt. Now, if I write down this 2t square, if I want to manipulate it and adjust it as per my denominator, I can just write that in the terms of my denominator expressions as if I see 3t square and t square, if I subtract it, I get 2t square. So I can just adjust it as 3t square minus t square. Now, once I have 3t square to adjust the entire expression of denominator, I should have plus 1 and minus 1. So I'm putting plus 1 and minus 1. So if I see, it actually becomes 3t square plus 1 minus this becomes t square plus 1. So I can write this 2t square entirely as i equals limits from 0 to 1. Numerator, I have 3t square plus 1 minus t square plus 1. The whole thing it's divided with 3t square plus 1, t square plus 1. And the third term we had was 3 plus t square, which is basically t square plus 3 dt. Now, once I have this entire expression with me, let's split the each part of numerator with the different part of denominator. So my expression now further simplifies to become i equals 3t square plus 1 dt divided by 3t square plus 1, t square plus 1, and t square plus 3. Minus t square plus 1, integral from 0 to 1, divided by 3t square plus 1, t square plus 1, t square plus 3. Now, some of you may wonder that why didn't we change the limits when we use the idea of substitution? 
I didn't change the limits because if I see x equals t square, which I have, I have my limits still being same because if I'm putting zero also or one also, t square will also become zero. So t is zero and t square will also become one, which gives me t as one. So that's why I haven't changed the limits yet. Now, if I try to solve this further, I can cancel this expression. I can cancel this expression. So I get two more integrals now with a different sign in between, which tells you zero to one dt divided by t square plus one, t square plus three. And here, if I see, I again have zero to one, this becomes one over three t square plus one and t square plus three dt. So I have these two expressions again further. Now, if I try to adjust these ideas also, again, here nothing is there means there's one. So if I try to adjust that one using the idea of subtraction with this expression, which are present in the denominator, I can write that as t square. So if I have t square, I should have minus t square also. And here I can see it's one. So to adjust this one, I have this expression as plus three. And this, if I see, if I do it minus one, because if I'm taking minus common, it's becoming t square plus one. So I am getting here this and t squared, this t squared gets cancelled. 3 minus 1 is 2. So I have 1 here, not 2. So to have 2 here or to have the answer finally as 1, I should multiply this with half. So first part of the expression, I can write that as 0 to 1 dt divided by. So I am writing that entire 1 as, okay, instead of let's not put dt first. So let's remove that. If I write instead of one, I can write that as half into t square plus three and minus sign also if I'm taking common, it gives me t square plus one. The denominator in this case becomes t square plus one into t square plus three. The whole thing with dt. So I have this now further, if I try to solve this, half is out common, zero to one. T square plus three, if I'm taking it and separating it with this denominator. So T square plus three divided by T square plus one, T square plus three DT. So from here, I can see that I can cancel this expression T square plus three. And if I do the other part of that same expression, it gives me minus integral from zero to one, T square plus one divided by T square plus one into T square plus three dt. So that is the entire expression I have and this t square plus 1 also gets cancelled out. So we get this terms cancelled. Now let's talk about the second part of the expression. So if I want to adjust the second part of the expression, the problem here is I have here 3 t square and here I don't have 3 with d square. I just have only t square. So if I want to adjust this, I know I should multiply this entire expression with 3. So if I try to use that idea of one to convert it in this terms of the denominator, I can multiply my value of three as three multiplied with t square plus three and minus if I do this, three t square plus one, I get from here three t square. So this gives me three t square plus nine minus three t square and minus. So this cancels and you are still left with 8 but you need the answer to become 1. So when you need the answer to become 1 I will divide this entire thing by 8 also. So I get this entire expression. So 1 divided by 8 into this gives me 1. So now I know that I can write this 1 as 1 over 8 into this entire expression. So let's write that. So minus integral 0 to 1. 1 over 8 3 times t square plus 3 minus the bracket 3t square plus 1. dt divided by, you have the two expressions as 3t square plus 1 and t square plus 3. So once I have this entire thing with me, I'm putting that as minus 1 over 8 common. The value of that numerator, I'm changing it. So basically, I'm taking separate numerators with the two denominators which we have. So it becomes 0 to 1. 
थ्री टाइम्स टी स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री टी स्क्वायर प्लस वन इंटू टी स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री डी टी माइनस अगेन यू हैव इंटीग्रल जीरो टू वन थ्री टी स्क्वायर प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री टी स्क्वायर प्लस वन टी स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री डी टी now once i have this with me i can just again cancel out the terms this cancels this cancels so from here i get the value of i as integral sorry half common integral of 0 to 1 t square plus 1 1 over t square plus 1 dt minus integral 0 to 1 1 over t square plus 3 dt next you have minus 1 over 8 integral of 0 to 1 3 over 3t square plus 1 minus integral of 1 over t square plus 3 again so if i see this actually You have the same term one over t square plus three one over t square plus three integral from zero to one dt. So if I further solve it, I I get it half integral zero to one one over t square plus one dt minus one over eight, or I should say three over eight integral of zero to one one over three t square plus one dt, and here you get minus half and plus one over eight. So if I see If I solve it, you get minus half and plus one over eight. To make the denominator same, I'll multiply both sides with four, so that gives you minus four plus one over eight, which is minus three over eight. So from here again, you are getting the same idea that minus three over eight, integral of zero to one and one over t square plus three dt. So you have all the three integrals. Now once I have all the three integrals that I have. Further, let's try to solve it. So now, if I try to imply the integrals here, first let's try to convert all of them in the form as it is. So, if I try to convert it in the form, I can write that as i has half integral of zero to one one over t square plus one square dt minus three over eight integral of zero to one one over. I can write this as root three t the whole square plus one square dt. Minus three over eight integral from zero to one. This gives you one over t square plus root three square dt. Now once I have all the three terms with me, I can just solve it and get it half. This becomes directly tan inverse of t because there is no expression. So I get it. The limits going from zero to one minus three over eight. Now here, if you apply the idea, instead of x, you have root three t entirely. So you get this as tan inverse of root three t. But you also divide by the coefficient of that variable that is th root three. Further, if I solve this, I get this three over eight and one over t square plus root three whole square. So that gives you tan inverse of. So the limits here also is from zero to one. Here you get tan inverse of x over a so t over root three, and you are also dividing by one over a. So basically, you get this as one over a tan inverse of x over a plus c. But we don't put c constant of integration because this is a definite integration which has the limits given from zero to one. So once I have this entire idea with me, I can further just put the limits and get the answer. Before doing that, if I explain it to you, the idea we have applied here is integral of one over x square plus a square dx is given by one over a. Tan inverse of x over a plus c. So that's the idea given to us here that we have used for all the three of them. So if I now just put the limits half tan inverse of one, if I see it's pi by four and tan inverse of zero is zero, so pi by four minus three over eight. Applying the limits again, three over eight and root three also. So let's take that also out. So three over eight root three. And if I apply the limits here, tan inverse of root three minus tan inverse of zero. So tan inverse of root three it becomes at sixty degrees, which is basically pi by tan inverse of root three. Yeah, it is pi by three, and 
next idea if i apply here again it is minus 3 over 8 root 3 tan inverse of 1 over root 3 1 over root 3 occurs at 30 degrees that is pi by 6 minus 0 so it is pi by 6 so if i further solve it this gives you pi over 8 minus this gives you 3 and 3 cancels out so you get pi over 8 root 3 minus here also if you see 3 1s 3 2 times so from here you get pi over 16 root 3 so if i make the denominator also same i multiply both sides with 2 i get from here pi by 8 minus 2 pi minus pi means minus 3 pi over 16 root 3 so from here if i try to cancel out some terms i get this as pi over 8 minus 1 root 3 gets cancelled with 1 root 3 so your only root 3 remains so you get root 3 pi over 16 that's the idea for the expression if i see they have also taken pi by 8 common so if i take out some things common pi by 8 is common so you get left with 1 minus root 3 over 2 so once i get this idea if you see it matches basically with option a so a becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which are given to us from the topic of integrals so we just separated the denominators and we tried to adjust after substituting x as t square we tried to manipulate and adjust our numerators also in the terms of the expressions in the denominators and then after solving it we got the answer as pi by 8 into 1 minus root 3 over 2 which basically matches with option a so a becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you